good morning. So real quick, I just wanted to know if you guys were, have ever been just so amazed at God and all that he does. I mean, nothing amazing happened. It doesn't have to be some wonderful, miraculous situation. It's just be in awe of the process. Okay. Um, like, so recently there's just been a lot going on, you know? I mean, obviously, we're all waiting on the wealth transfer, then delay, and then there's um, the three days of darkness, and Halloween coming up, and so, you know, coming out of the world is always, it's never an easy process, you know, um, and my journey to this, and I, and I live with a whole bunch of, I don't want to say a whole bunch of non-believers, but like... They're looking at me like I'm crazy. Like, my family is looking at me like I'm crazy right now. Like, my daughter, she's not even talking. Because if we weren't celebrating Hall Halloween. We're not celebrating Halloween. But, see, I'm still, I, and I'm convicted, but I'm, I'm, and I just kind of threw it out there on them. So, I was like, we could still get some candy, watch some good, wholesome movies, and spend time together. Because my dad's coming into town. And so, you know, we just stay inside. I was like, we don't need to go around trick or treating. It's on a Tuesday, you know? So my husband's like, oh, please, you know? Like, I'm like, it's not of God. And he's just like, oh, well, it doesn't matter. And I'm like, it does matter, though. It matters to me. But, you know, it's hard when you have to, like, change your way of thinking and change your lifestyle and change your children, you know? Like, who don't understand. They're innocent. They don't understand what it is. You know, they don't understand what they're releasing into the world, you know, by, by watching the scary movies and stuff like they don't watch scary movies, they're little, but you know, so it becomes difficult when you have to be the one, you know, to like put your foot down and tell them, especially when you don't have any backing in the situation. But I mean, even at the process, two of my kids were good. They were, they were okay with it. I mean, they were kind of like, why? So I'm going to look for some stuff and we're going to show them and show them the true meaning of Halloween and that kind of thing. I'm not trying to, you know, kind of scare, scared straight type of situation. But also with the process of what do I do here? You know, like I've been going to the Lord in prayer with insight, you know, on the whole three days of darkness and that kind of thing, because if that were to happen, what were we to do? You know, like we're nowhere near ready. I don't have the funds to be ready. And it gets, it gets to be ready right now, you know, like we're, but we're, we're managing, we're managing. And I have these moments where I'm like panicking, like, okay, well this day, this bill's due, this day, this bill's due. And then God is like, I need you to stop take a minute, reread, and, and be done. Like, I was panicking because I got an email thinking, like, okay, the mall's coming for me. I need to figure it out how I'm going to come up with, like, $4,500 dollars and blah, blah, blah. God was like, be still. I sat down. <laughs> you are crazy. So I freaking, I sat down, and then it was, I reread the email, and it was the trash people from my cart, and they were like, you're just behind $50. I was, like, oh, yeah. I was like, sorry, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and then, and then I, my car insurance, we just paid my car insurance, right? It was like $600 and something. And we scraped and scraped for this, the car insurance money. And so, but of course it's due again on today, right? So I was like looking, but then this time the payment was like $1,300. And I was like, what are we going to do? So I've been stressing out about it for like a week and something and I haven't told anybody. So I was like, okay. I was like, why is it so much? It's the start of my policy or my premium or whatever. So I was like, okay, so what are we going to do with that? And so last night I was like deleting cards and making <laughs> top of the app. So nothing automatically came out. I was like, oh, you know, I was like, I, I can't do this. I was like, we don't have this right now. I was totally not walking in faith, not doing nothing. I was like, and so I got out of the shower and I laid down. It was a long night yesterday. So I laid down and God was like, 
be quiet and be still. <laughs> it's like, okay, so I looked at it and it's not due until November 24th. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to laugh at yourself because I was like, I was like, I need you to calm down. Like you can just feel in your spirit that he's like this chick. <laughs> oh my god, he's like, you're driving me nuts, and I'm like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, but thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. So I have to like, oh, but to my husband, I need another, I need your bank account information because somehow it got deleted from the Geico. <laughs> Oh, oh man, whatever. <laughs> oh. You know, if you can't laugh at yourself, I guess. So that's what we're, that's where we are. I just need to trust the process because with all, even with all of that, like it still has worked out and everything worked out for my good. You know, even though I was panicking, it's like, relax. It's, it's, I, I got you. But I'm like, now we're getting closer and all my family's coming in. And I was like, if this three days of darkness happens, what we would not be prepared, Lord. I was like, how are we going to prepare for this? You know, like it's hard. It's not a simple thing to just, oh, okay, well now I need to go get tents and this. And then some people say you can open your windows. Some people say there still will be sun. Like nobody knows. I mean, obviously we prophesy in parts. I get it. I get it. I get it. There's no, but you know, so I'm asking for my own confirmation, my own, and I don't feel like it's right now. Like, I don't, I don't feel like it's right now. I feel like God is giving us time, but we have to do our due diligence. And right now, but I, I told him, like, I'm just when we're talking, we're talking, we talk, you know, you have to build that relationship. We talk and I'm like, what if, I mean, if you were said to do that right now at this very moment, what are we going to do? You know? And so... The only part that is like concerning, I'm like, I'm doing so much, you know, I have an employee that, <clears throat> um, he isn't very, he's, he's helpful. He's helpful and all, but he's having, having a hard time. And so, um, I was paying him through his cash app and then all of a sudden his cash app card didn't work. And so now that's my fault and I give him his ride and I take him to and then I pick him up at nine and like it's been a lot like I'm doing everything to help everybody to be a blessing to everybody else but who is really being a blessing to me is my is my situation <laughs> and so it came down to it where he was supposed to work on Saturday and he didn't end up showing up but then he texted me he's like I'm so sorry I overslept and then okay but he was supposed to get his cash money uh, on Saturday when he got to work but he didn't show up so then apparently he was expecting me to drive over to his house to drop it off I'm like well, why do I have to be so accommodating I don't understand he's like well you're just like everybody else it's gonna screw me and I was like why would I screw you I was like I paid you this entire time by the grace of God I have paid him the entire time like whatever so and this was like midnight I was like this is disrespectful you don't text somebody at midnight first of all I'm like ugh, whatever I was like that's just so I had to pray about it I just had to pray about it. You know, he still deserves the money and that was it. But I'm not, I can't be everything to everyone and then nobody anything to me. Like, I didn't birth you. I didn't do none of that. Actually, my blessing was giving you a job in the first place and that's just pretty much where it ends. Like, but not to mention all the other stuff. I do make sure you eat. I bring him food, everything. Because he's technically homeless. So he doesn't have anything else, which is fine. Which is fine. Um, so... It, and it's just that and then you know I have my stepdaughter and everybody sitting there and I had taken care of her and she's working for me too but she then she now she's sick today and it's just it's just always something and then I trust the process and then my brother he, my brother texted me yesterday and he's like well I need I'm getting evicted I need a place to live I'm like okay great so he's like I need to move in like the 26th 27th I'm like okay so I was like what's happening though Lord because on the 30th my my dad comes into town for a visit. I haven't seen my dad in a while. My dad lives in Virginia, and I haven't seen him in a while. And then my sister's coming in to to, visit, to see him as well. Um, on like Saturday or something like that. So I have my brother coming on the twenty sixth or twenty seventh, which my brother lives down the street. On um, like the twenty sixth or twenty seventh to come li live with me. Um, and then my dad's coming in. And then my sister's coming in. Um, 
so they're all gonna be there and then of course my mom will come up to my house to visit she lives here too um will come up to visit so I'm like well what's happening and I'm excited I'm great I mean that's a lot it's a cramped house and I want to do I want to I was like do I get an Airbnb like what do I do and again it's like just be still be still um but and I'm like well why are we it's conveniently enough everybody's going to be together at one time you know what I mean like and my mom is a very spiritual person but she I mean not as deep my sister too but she uh, converted to Judaism so that's that's all fine and well but her beliefs are now a little bit different than from what I've grown up on but I mean I don't necessarily follow or conform to any specific like religion I just oh because I don't do religion I don't do religion um but it's I don't know so me explaining these things like my sister's moving to Wyoming Wyoming it's cold it's rainy it's uh, a lot of snow and you know we already know that this is supposed to be a really bad winter so this could be that she she usually is always here with her husband for Christmas and or the holidays and Thanksgiving and everything now I don't necessarily know that she's gonna make it this time especially with the traveling situation and she's coming here now so this could be the last time that we are all together but what does this mean I was like you're giving why are you giving me so much and it's all falling on me right now why are you giving me so much to handle but why am I and not preparing me for the situation you know what I mean like I, I, I it was just a question like why I mean I I'm, I'm okay with doing it and blessing these people but how come I'm always the one that has to be the blessing you know where's my blessing it gets frustrating it does it does get frustrating I mean, not enough for me to walk away and to not do it. I still have to be obedient regardless. Regardless of how I feel about the situation, I still have to do what I'm being called to do. And I by no means mind that my family is coming into town. That's when I'm excited. But I want to be even more excited because what are, what's happening? Like, my mom is very self-sufficient, but she's going through some stuff of her own or herself. And so now we got to deal with that. Um, between And then my dad coming into town. Like, what's happening? I just want to know what's happening. And then my brother is moving in to stay. That's an extra. I already have, I have five kids. Me, my husband, four, um, two dogs. And so now that's three extra people that are coming to stay in my house. Okay. That's fine. I mean, challenge accepted, which is fine. There's room. It'll be fine. But I'm like, ugh. It's just a lot, guys. It's just a lot. And one of them is permanent, you know, for a minute. He's like, I need like two months. And he doesn't have a job. So what he's going to do, I don't know. And then my mother-in-law who needs a place to go to. That's what I'm praying is for a bigger house. So I could just house all these people and still have my space. That's my biggest issue is that I just need my space and my prayer closet. And my I just need a little bit of air in my kitchen. Don't touch my kitchen. Okay, you know, that's it, that's it, but I would house the world if I could, to me, I, that doesn't, that doesn't bother me at all, my garden, keep me my, my garden, you know, I just need my space sometimes, but that's it, and that's all I have to report, I just am wondering, you know, we'll see, Sometimes I'm just, excuse me, amazed at the process, in awe of how just calculated and on point it can be at times, but also it's very stressful to walk in the journey, but I hope everybody has a blessed day.